Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli with another driving video. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my supporters and follow me on Twitter. And if you're new to Tesla and you want to buy a Tesla car, please use my referral code. You can get a tremendous discount and free FSD for three months. My link is below at the description. And today we're not going to talk about Tesla at all. Uh, today we're going to talk about Hyundai. Hyundai, as they say it in the United States, Hyundai, uh, uh, EV6, Kia EV6, and Hyundai uh, EV, Hyundai Ionic 5. They are, it's the same company. Uh, they are together, conglomerate together. So, so, so the Hyundai, Hyundai Ionic 5, which is a very popular car in the United States, very popular, <clears throat> and the uh, Kia EV6 also gaining some traction. They have uh, a, a, about 41 reported cases of some kind of explosion. I, I don't want to make it bombastic. Uh, uh, sound from the from the battery, the engine. I don't know what it is. And a message followed up by a message of reduced power and followed up by a message of loss of power, which basically the car is not drivable. So that came for, I think, from what from I read, from 41 reports by drivers. Now, NHTSA, the National Highway uh, Safety Association, is uh, investigating these cases. Now, again, these are very, very popular cars. These are great EVs, the Ionic and the EV6. They're wonderful cars, great range, great efficiency. Uh, the best drag coefficient other than uh, the um, Lucid Air, they, are, they have better drag coefficient than the Teslas. It's, these are great cars, great technology. So what it sounds like, I don't know if you, I don't know if you ever experienced it. I have when I used to drive uh, gas cars, something called like backfire. Just like, you know, like from the, from the tailpipe, from the exhaust, you hear like a backfire, like a, like a pop, like a shot, like a gunshot. So they hear some noises like that, and they um, and and then loss of uh, reduced power and loss of power. That is bad. That is terrible. 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 Now here's what I don't know. I don't know if there was a recall. If there is a recall, I don't know about that. I don't know. Uh, Nitsa is investigating it, so we'll see what happens. And uh, I don't know uh, if it happened. Uh, in other places around the world. Uh, obviously, it is a very popular car all around the world. It's a very, very popular car. It's a great, two of them, they're great cars. So I don't know. I don't know what is the situation with the with the, uh, with the Hyundai. And I did not hear it about the Hyundai Kona. What I, my, because a friend of mine used to own a Kona, and I know that the Konas had issues with the batteries and many of them had to be replaced. My friends, who, uh, who had the Kona EV, um, actually still have it. His wife drives it. He didn't sell it. He just bought. Um, he just bought the Polestar. Anyway, um, a, the bat a lot of batteries were replaced with the Kona EVs. It used to be an issue with Tesla Model S's as well at the beginning. A lot of switches and many batteries were replaced. But so this is what they had battery issues since the Kona that need to be replaced. Now there's this backfire of noises and they reduce in a loss of power. So this is concerning. This is very concerning. Again, I don't know if there is a uh, recall. I don't know, that that I don't know. But it's very interesting and I don't know if it happened, if there are reports like that around the world. That I don't know either. But I'm definitely gonna follow on this story. So if you are one of, if you are owner one of these cars and it happened to you, please put your comments below so we, we can share. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.